Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about enhancements to customer refunds in 2021 R2. So we can see a list of payments here and maybe we got to this payment screen through the receivables area and we clicked on payments and applications. Or we went to receivables and we went up to customer details and we typed in our customer. and we clicked on show all documents to find some payments that maybe we had. So we'll click here and we'll show ourselves some payments and maybe we're having a conversation, but a customer essentially wants a refund on their payment. So we could take a look at any one of these payments. We'll look at the latest one. And what Acumatica has done is they've given us the ability to refund directly from the payment screen, assuming it's unapplied. So currently, if we go to the application history, we can see that this 41,860 is fully applied to invoice 8076. You can see it right here. But with Acumatica, we can reverse application. This is nothing new. We can do this. We have been able to do this for quite some time. So we take a payment, but we want to reverse the application. Maybe we applied it to something uh, that was incorrect. We wanted to apply it to something else. But in this case, we're going to reverse the application, release it. And notice what we get here. We get an available balance has dropped here to the total amount of the payment because we reversed the application against that invoice. But if we click on our new menu, this dot, dot, dot now shows our menus. In a previous video, we talked about how you can configure these and show your favorites. But now we have the ability to refund right from here. So if we click on refund, you can see Acumatica took the total amount of that open balance and put it here. So it's 41,000. We can then record a check maybe that we're sending out, or it could be a credit card that we could refund. The refund card payment is right here and we'll release it. Additionally, if we go to application history, you can see that the refund is applied to the payment. So you have a good audit trail here. The other thing that's been improved is if we have a customer refund by itself. So let's say we have a new customer refund. And maybe we had to get that out the door. So it's a customer refund, but it's not applied. So it has an open balance. So refunds now have the ability to have an available balance. If we go into this very same customer and we create a new credit memo. So maybe we had to get this refund out the door, go in and we create a credit memo for that customer. And maybe it's for some item. Maybe it came from a sales order or maybe it's just for some service item. While this is in the balanced state, you now have the ability under applications to apply. So anything that's unreleased, you can click over here and apply directly to any outstanding document. In this case, available balance document for customer refund. The so customer refund still had that balance. You open it up and we look for it, we can see it's right here, and we could apply that $500 directly to the customer refund, and now release it. And if we go back to the refund, you can see the balance has been wiped out, and under application history, you can see why it was applied to the credit memo for $500. So that's customer refund improvements in Acumatica 2021 R2. If you have any additional questions about this or anything else in Acumatica, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel and have a great day.